Mm, wake up in the Himalayas in this beautiful monastery as the Tibetan cook comes in with some flatbread and yak butter tea. Mm. Bye, Dorothy. <laughs> I'm off to Elam. Yeah, along hobbit like pathways. Uh, Tolkien spent time in Nepal and the landscape, this landscape right here, so influenced his hobbit landscapes and terrains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the Himalayas stretching all the way to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Well, on day three of hiking and walking, I reach Elam and ask around, Peace Corps, Peace Corps, some sign language, and finally the villagers lead me to Peter, Peace Corps volunteer. <laughs> wow, is he surprised to see me. <laughs> Another American out here <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And he looks like a yogi. He looks like a zadu. He's gone native after two years. <laughs> Oh, Peter's such a wonderful person. He became an angel to me. <laughs> Fights me in right away. Smoke primo Nepali hashish. And he points with pride to his one gallon tin of peanut butter that the American government set him up with. You know, they don't want the Peace Corps volunteers to get too disoriented <laughs> right away. So, yeah, uh, so hey, Peter, what's the deal with the apple trees? You know, he shows me the trees, uh, which, you know, in the morning, spend the night with him and how, how wonderful. Um, yeah, they're about a meter high, uh, you know, three feet high or so. Gangly roots, exposed root system. You know, about a foot of that is gangly roots. So um, they have to be wrapped in wet burlap. It'll stay moist for the three days back to the monastery. So we do that. And uh, yeah, everything is fine. <clears throat> Except I can't lift the trees. <laughs> They're really heavy. I mean, I'm 21. You know, thinking I can do just about. Well, <laughs> do every lift. Okay. <clears throat> so what to do? No jeepable roads anywhere around here. Never has been. Uh-uh. Forget it. Forget it. You can get to the monastery the back way on a horrendous road from Siliguri. That's the way Dorothy got up there. But besides that road, in the road from Siliguri to Doji. <laughs> no. uh, well, hmm. Play to my strengths. So I do what I do so well. Hitchhike. <laughs> and, uh, but what, what, you know, uh, yaks. Mm -hmm. And, and mountain ponies. <laughs> um, I know a few words of Nepali. I have a teeny little Nepali English dictionary, so, <laughs> um, I may, I, I may, I propose them. Look, you've got, a, you've got pack horses here. Uh, can I rent a half, one side of your pack horse for a few rupees? <laughs> In the Polish, they giggle. The giggle at the beginning of a sentence and at the end of a sentence is just a kind of, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> pretty universal so anyway off we go bundle of seedlings on the half of a horse strapped on they're experts at that because that's all the way they, that's the only way they do anything you know you heard of a basket case in the mountains uh if someone is ill and needs to get to a different location maybe to see a shaman uh to cure her uh they put her in a basket and the, the, the Nepalis have a, a, a broad band across, a fiber band, like canvas, you know. And then they have this basket in the back. Well, they just put the person, the basket case in there for the ride. So, uh, hey, you know what? This transport system works fine. And like I'm walking with Nepalis. I mean, 
life doesn't get any more friendly <laughs> than that. Um, coming around a bend. All right, two days. You know, two or three different parties in the polys. And, uh, oh, we come to Idabury, a little mountain hamlet. That means they probably have a chai shop there. <laughs> you know, you could get some Britannica biscuits, maybe get a couple of hard-boiled eggs or some roasted barley. There are no stores out here. There's no shops. There's no stores. The people make their own shoes and boots. Yeah. Uh, and that's when I see him. The most awesome yogi. With his hair trailing to the earth. Oops. I am, uh, I am touched to the core. His gleaming eyes just zzz. And he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, and how are you doing today, sir? What? And he speaks perfect British English. And uh, this is as far as my uh, Nepali uh, horse uh, caravan is going right now. So they put the, a bundle of trees there beside the path. And the yogi says, uh, uh, welcome. Welcome. Stay the night in my home. 